Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Friday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. 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 Christ the Lord ascends into heaven. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ the Lord ascends into heaven. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. Our psalm today is Psalm 148. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels of his. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, heaven of heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He made them stand fast forever and ever, and he gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters in all deep, fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous winds doing his will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping thing, creepy things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all the rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted. His splendor is over earth and heaven. He raised up strength for his people and praise for all his loyal servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near him. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God most high, by your word, you created a wondrous universe and through your spirit, you breathed into it the breath of life. Accept creation's hymn of praise from our lips and let the praise that is sung in heaven resound in the hearts of every creature on earth to the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, our first reading today comes from first uh, from first Samuel, the second chapter, beginning with verse one. Hannah also prayed and said, my heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in the Lord. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy like the Lord. There is none besides thee. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance Come from your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble gird on strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who were hungry have ceased to hunger. The barren are have borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The, uh, the Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low. He also exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust and he lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness. For not by might shall a man prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces against them. He will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our second reading comes from Ephesians, the second chapter, beginning with verse one. And you he made alive when you were dead, though the, through the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. Among these, we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of body and mind. And so we were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive through with, uh, together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raised up 
raised us up with him and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the coming ages he might show the immediate, the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not because of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our holy gospel comes from St. Matthew, the seventh chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many uh, mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Every one of them who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built the house upon a rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon the house. But it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like the foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against the house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise Thank to you, you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, you have given us eternal life through Christ your Son, who rose from the dead and now sits at your right hand. When he comes again in glory, may he clothe with immortality all who have been born again in baptism. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in any adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Uh, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Friday morning. As you noticed, since yesterday was Ascension, that the antiphon at the beginning has changed uh, to that uh, instead of the Lord is risen indeed, to Christ the Lord ascends into heaven. And we have that um, until uh, till Pentecost Sunday, so which is coming up in a week. So, well, a little more than a week. So, um, okay, well, thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you have a blessed day, and see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye. Um,